All right, welcome back to the Geometry demo. I'm going to show you how to set up your projects and also uh, how it works once you have your project set up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click here to add a new project. You can just add it, uh, just give it a title, demo project. Once you create your project, so this is your workspace where all your projects are going to uh be shown so there are three things you are supposed to add for every project the first thing would be the stages that you want to track and then you can set up different workflows for different projects and you can add as many stages as necessary so i'm going to go ahead and put fabrication just give it a simple workflow delivery and installation and as you can see, every stage will get uh, automatically assigned a color. And then if you click here, you can change the color as well. Once you've set up your workflow, the second thing to add would be your model. You can select your model from the local drive. When to click and open, then you get to uh, upload your model to the platform, but I'm not gonna do that. It might take some time uh, to, upload depending on the model size. So I'm gonna show you how it works with the existing model. And the third thing to add would be to add your users. You just get to select uh, from this list and assign a role on the project that you can create. And then when you press add, they're gonna get uh, assigned to your projects and you are ready to go. So again, all the projects that you have are gonna be listed here and you're going to see just a brief overview of all the stages so you can have a glimpse uh, at a, your all your projects at which stage they're at at every given uh, step along the way. So once you click on the card, you can open your project and the first thing you'll see would be your 3D model. So there's a central feature. So it all starts from 3D. Uh, on the right side of the screen, you can see the stages that you have uh, previously set up for tracking. And then you would see the colors for those stages that are assigned, or you might have changed some colors for the stages. But anyway, the elements you see on the, the, the building model itself are going to be colored in the stage color, depending on the status, meaning that what you see is uh, as purple in the viewport here would mean that these elements are completed in the stage production. That is their latest status is set as production complete. The same applies for other stages as well. So you see yellow is uh, delivered on site, green is uh, handover to clients and so on. So you get the idea here. And then on the left side for each of these stages, you would see a calculated uh, progress. So we'll get a total number of elements uh, in the model, as well as the number of elements completed in that stage. Then there's a calculation of, uh, of the progress for each of the stages. So then from here, you can download your progress reports. So if you don't make any changes, uh, I will show you later how to, to do some filtering, but basically if you don't do any changes, once you click here, you can download your progress report for all the elements in PDF, uh, Excel, and, and CSV format. Uh, this is the progress summary where you will get a list of all the things uh, completed for either all of the, for, for the entire project or for some selection. And this is the list of uh, QR codes. You can download it in PDF, Excel, and CSV uh, as well. And then it usually starts uh, from downloading the QR codes and passing it on to suppliers and, and either teams or subcontractors that would then paste the QR codes on the building elements and then report for each of these uh, stages based on these QR codes. So. Uh, I will show you now also how to update the status of the element. So when, once you click on the element, you will have all the stages as a task list. And for example, if this element is complete in uh, stage production, you can just update its status 
from here and you get a confirmation screen, you say update, and then as you update, the color of the element will change to uh, correspond to the, to the stage color here. And it works also, so since we have assigned the QR codes automatically to, to every building element, once you download these codes for, from here and pass on to, to the suppliers to print and paste on the building elements, uh, you can then, once they scan the QR code of a particular element, this is the screen that they're going to see on their mobile. And let's say they are assigned to the production. Once they press update here or, or press production, uh, they can update the status of the element. So that's all they have to do to update the element status. And they can only update the for the stages that they are uh, assigned to. No one in production can update for site delivery installation unless uh, they have uh, permission to do so. So these things we, we set up on the project setup initially. So I'm going to go ahead and update here. So another thing is uh, the activities. So you would see here once uh, someone has updated, so all the activities are going to be uh, represented here for every single element that it's updated, where we'll write down which element is updated, uh, at which stage, by whom, at, and the exact time and date when this update uh, is done. So these things would then enable us to filter the model based on uh, the activity dates, as well as some uh, model properties or element properties that we have inherited from the IFC file that is uploaded. So I'm going to show you now how to do the filtering part. So again, as you filter, uh, you can then print the progress reports based on uh, the filter properties. This is a, a simple setup for, uh, for this uh, simple uh, model as well, just to show you how it works. For example, I want to see the progress of my uh, facade uh, one, for example. So you see this is facade one, facade 10, and facade four. So I want to see progress for my facade one only on level two, three, and four. So as I click these toggles, you can see the selection here will update the numbers as well. So you get a separate uh, calculation that applies only to this selection. And you will see these numbers update as well. So there are total uh, 21 elements are, uh, in facade one on the, these three levels. And I can then print a separate progress report or a separate, uh, separate summary or even separate QR codes to start with just for uh, this selection. You can even uh, combine the filters. You can say, okay, I want to see what's going on for this selection in terms of progress, but only over the last week, then your uh, selection is going to be narrowed down even further. And you can say, okay, give me the, the progress summary for this selection over the, the last week, and you will get all the items that are done in the stages that you have also left in this selection. So I think with this, you have an idea how the, the system works. And I, if there are any questions, we are here to address. We'll be more than happy to address, actually. Thank you for your time.